In this video, I'll be showing you some advanced ways to work with strings in TextBlaze. Previously, I showed you how you can use the replace command to replace text within a string. Let's take it a step further. I have this address and I want to change it into a multi-line format. I can do this by using the replace command to replace all of the commas with line breaks. In this case, backslash n means insert a new line character. The backslash is called an escape, which tells TextBlaze that the letter following it has a special meaning. In this case, a new line character. Characters that separate strings like the comma and new line in this scenario are called delimiters. Let's see how the snippet works. Here's another example using a row of data copied from a spreadsheet. In this case, each cell is separated by a tab stop. So this time, we'll use backslash t to represent the tab stop delimiters and replace them with dashes. Now, let's say I want the contents of cell D on its own. Here's how I can do it. First, I need to use the split command to break up the string into individual items by delimiter. This gives me a list. A list is a collection of individual items, such as strings or numbers. You'll notice that it is surrounded by square brackets. Each item is within quotation marks and separated by commas. If I want the fourth item, I add the number 4 inside square brackets. Now I can assign that value to a variable to reuse it anywhere in my snippet. Here's a more practical example using sales data in a spreadsheet. Once again, I'm copying the data from a spreadsheet row. TextBlaze is splitting the data at every tab stop and turning it into a list, then assigning each item to a variable which is then used in the text being inserted. A list can also contain variables. Here's a simple list. The first few items are regular strings, but the final one is the variable name that I've assigned to the text field at the top. Watch what happens when I write something in the text field. Now let's try something different. I have this form menu command with multiple choice enabled. If I try to reuse its data elsewhere, here's what it will look like. This happens because the contents of the variable are in the form of a list. I'm going to join all of the list items with a line break. And this is the result. As in previous examples, you may use different delimiters to join your list items. You can also join multiple strings using the ampersand sign. This is how it's done. There's a lot more that you can do with strings and lists. To learn more, please check our detailed tutorials on the website, complete with a full list of available commands and functions.